Hey guys, this is Team of Style. I'm Jose Zuniga, and for this week's video, we're going to be discussing what are the major differences between a made to measure suit and a bespoke suit. The average guy tends to use these two terms interchangeably and incorrectly. The great thing is that the name of both styles of tailoring give you the definition of what's involved into each process. Made to measure in its most basic explanation, made to measure, is literally having a suit made to your exact body measurements. However, in a little bit more in-depth explanation of how made to measure works, it really boils down to pattern making. So first, let's start with made to measure. Now made to measure is my cup of tea and my preferred method of tailoring. I would say about almost all my suits, about 98% of my suits are all made to measure from various clothiers. Now, for this specific video, I decided to pick my favorite clothier of the, all the ones that I've reviewed before because I wanted to go give you a good comparison against Bespoke or at least a good competitor against it. And for this suit, what you're seeing right now, me wear, is an Oliver Wicks suit. Now, I'll explain more about Oliver Wicks and why I chose this brand later and at, at the end in my opinion section. So I'll give you an example. Off the rack, you have set patterns or standard patterns, which what they call it which basically means you have suits that are made for the masses. You have 38, 40, 40 R, 40 small, 40 tall. So you will have exact measurements and each brand obviously varies, but these are tended to fit a lot of men. What made to measure solve is the problem for those men that don't fit into the constraints of those cookie cutter patterns. Not everybody fits into those, and me specifically, which is why I like custom or made to measure suits. So what happens is that in a custom suit, you get altered patterns. So take that 40R for example. Let's say I was a 40R, but the sleeves are too long or the armholes are too tight, etc. With a made to measure, you can alter all this. So now let's move to bespoke. Bespoke or the term bespoke derives from the term bespeak, which means to speak for something. A tailor literally orders and arranges a new suit specifically for you and therefore you have been bespoken for. The real value that comes with bespoke and also the high price tag that comes with it is derived from the fact that a new pattern made from scratch, not from an existing pattern that's been altered, but a completely new pattern is being made for the individual. With bespoke, you can alter the smallest of possible parameters, something you can't do for made to measure. I'll give you an example. Some individuals have bow-legged effects and aren't straight. Bespoke, all of these little nuances, a good tailor can actually tailor a garment, alter those parameters in a way that hides those imperfections and almost makes it look like you are a perfectly proportionate being. This is something that with made to measure you really can't do. But how is this done? This is done through a series of fittings. Today, very few bes actual bespoke clothiers exist. What you have instead is a lot of made to measure clothiers that are proclaiming they have bespoke to add value to their brand. This is most of the case not true. The reason I say this is because an actual bespoke garment takes multiple fittings over several months. This isn't a two, three week process. Some can take up to eight weeks to produce. The reason is we're talking almost four or five fittings. I'll give you an example. Most start with the first fitting, which is referred to the skeleton or the base fitting. This is to test the new pattern that has been created specifically for you by the tailor. Then you have a second fitting, which is usually referred to the forward fitting, etc. And then you have another fitting, which, which some refer to as the fin bar fin fitting. So as you can see, a precise tailor built on top of each fitting to derive to into a more, more and more and more precise garment. And now you can see after all these hours of labor, the quality of fabric that's usually used, why these suits can range easily anywhere from two to 3,000 and up, because there's so much work going into just production of one suit. So conclusion, what do I think? Which one's the best type of tailoring? Well, I think you guys already know what I think. I prefer made to measure. Made to measure delivers a very precise fit and usually only consists of about one or two fittings. You get a fit that's almost at par to bespoke yet you get it at a portion, maybe even half to a fourth of the price. While a made to measure garment could start anywhere from 500 to thousand dollars, like I mentioned, a bespoke starts around two to 3,000 and goes up depending on fabric and tailor you're going to. So for me, I'd rather find a reputable brand that delivers good fit and good quality and 
achieve almost a similar level of precise tailoring, which is why I picked Oliver Wicks. Oliver Wicks, all of the production of Oliver Wicks is made in Europe. All of their suits use Italian VBC fabric. That's pretty impressive, considering some of their suits start at $4.99, free shipping and free returns. That also includes the alteration guarantee that most online tailors offer. Oliver Wicks offers a $125 tailoring guarantee that if your suit does not fit exactly, you can take it to a tailor and they cover up to $125 in fees. So that's pretty impressive, given that you're getting a suit made in Europe, made with Italian fabrics, they have an impeccable fit, for $4.99. The reason why I like made to measure more than bespoke is not that bespoke is bad, is that for me, it functions better. What I mean by that is that while I know a bespoke suit might have a little bit more precise fit, I know a made to measure suit can do almost just the same for me. My goal is to be always well tailored and presentable. If I can do that for a fraction of the price, know that I still have a quality garment, know a garment that's gonna fit me. Personally, I can't justify spending two to three times more, which is why I prefer made to measure. So okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So if you like this video, remember to hit up the like up button. Also remember to share this video so we can reach and teach more men. Thank you guys for watching.